Hello everybody, this is uh, Red Sea of Red Sea Gaming. This is my survival world. And I've been working on this since December of last year. As you guys can see here, I'm just uh, um, working hard. And since I'm doing mo most of this mostly by myself, I have to uh, work hard on uh, just clearing the land as you can see here all this right here this stone brick right here I need all the land to be at least a block below this so I can put more stone brick down But I'm thinking of extending the hall of pillars, which is down below as you can see right here And it might not look much now, but eventually it will uh, look great. As you can see here, just a lot of the pillars are not finished yet. Eventually, all the pillars will look like this. You guys watched uh, if you guys watched my previous videos, you'll see me doing fast motion uh, videos, but that was just uh, because sometimes I have no idea what to say to you guys. So I just made it uh, the videos like that. So as you can see here, seven months of work and I'm already happy with how it's going. As you can see here, a lot of this is just seven months of work, but I'm still very happy with how this place has come to be. Like, I didn't plan any of this. I just built it. Alright? Yeah, I have my map right there. This will eventually become the basement of the castle itself. What I'm trying to build is a Victorian, uh, Victorian medieval style uh, city. And I need lots of materials in order to make that happen. As you can see here. You hear that sound? Might as well see how my factory's going. All right, I'm gonna turn this off so I can show you guys what's happening. Look at this. Uh, the stone will go uh, after it's uh, collected by the tram car right there. It'll go up this ramp, across the hoppers, Eh, one second, I gotta put this back. Now, it'll go into those hoppers. Down here. Into these uh, chests, as you can see here. These tiers are full. Slowly but surely, it'll go down these chests one by one until all the chests are full. I had to increase the the tiers uh, to 10 today because you're going to need a lot of stone brick. I was hoping to do a live stream today, but um, my internet is not cooperating right now, so I have no choice but to just release this video instead. And, as you can see here, input, oh, it's empty, better fill that up. This machine uh, was built by, uh, uh, by my friend, uh, Bro Dude, uh, he has his own channel, and he did a good job with this. 
and thanks to it, I now have a capacity of 129,000 stone brick um, of stone at one time. Now we got a problem. We only got two stacks of stone, cobblestone left. Means I gotta go get more. That's good for now. 90% of this was built by me over a span since December of last year. I love building. And I've sort of made it my own personal project to build as huge as possible. As you can see all these trees here, all these trees are going to be chopped down a little bit at a time to produce the charcoal needed to the fuel uh, the furnaces so I can keep making stone bricks so I can make walls like these. As you guys can see, these walls are not easy to make. Look, we got staircases. Chiseled stone brick, staircases again, chiseled stone brick, and we got regular stone brick, and then we go stone brick uh, for the for the railings. And building walls like this uh, takes a lot of resources. I sort of tried to uh, uh, ration stone brick because. As you can see here, taking out that mountain over there, you can see beyond the trees, will eventually yield a lot of cobblestone for the for the procedure of adding more stone brick to my empire. Yeah. I've been working over here practically all day, uh, trying to make as much room. This is the first stage of the wall before I add the detail. And as you can see here, I had to uh, get rid of the water. This was underwater, but I managed to get rid of the water. I had to use sand because the water was so deep. I'd drown if I wanted to go and plant dirt at the bottom. Everything you see here will be leveled. That way there's room for the, room for the city that will eventually be built. As you can see here, I'm already starting to take out this mountain right, uh, this hill right here. Mountain or hill, it's coming down. Alright. As you can see, all these chests are full of the materials I've already collected from one of the mountains. Look at all that cobblestone, I'll be able to sh ship that back to um, the nerve center of the entire site so I can produce more stone brick which is important. I got this mountain to take down and look you see those blocks up there? That's just to show how tall the mountain was when I started to take it down. Yep. It's summer so I'm surrounded by flies while doing this. As you can see here. The reason why I'm taking out the mountain is so we have more room for the city. Eventually this wall will be removed entirely, starting right about here. That way I can take advantage of the land beyond. As you can see with the map in the lower left corner, that um, this city will dominate all the land, all the landscape of the of this entire Minecraft world. I'm trying to build a something huge. I'm trying to fill up the entire Minecraft world. I also own the PC version which I've been able to practice a bit but mm, I don't uh, there's some aspects of the PC version that still baffle me. As you can see here, I'm just so excited about this right here. 
I kept uh, picturing in my head the Hall of Pillars uh, from Ramesses the Great. Uh, he had a um, hyper style hall where it had so many pillars. And I'm sort of trying to recreate that in my own style, as you can see with the, all these pillars. These pillars are not cheap, which is why I need so much stone brick. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stone brick for the bottom. Eight, eight stairs for the, for the second stage. Eight staircases for the third stage. Eight chiseled stone brick for the uh, third stage, and and 16 uh, staircases for the final stage. So it's sort of uh, becoming highly expensive to build the pillars that way. Weeks ago, before I went on a trip with my dad, just to um, have more room for storage. This is the new product room. The product room, which will eventually hold all the stone brick produced down here. I'm already considering expanding, too. As you can see here, if I take out this stone brick right here. These are... There's ten tiers. Four stone... Uh, uh, four chests each. And as you can see here, this is where I produce charcoal and lots of materials here. A lot has changed since I uh, since I went on my trip. Now I'm gonna get back to work on it. Okay, guys, uh, if you guys want to see more, uh, please. Uh, Leave a, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and please hit that bell. For some reason, YouTube's been funny lately where you have to hit a bell in order to be notified that you got, uh, that your, uh, one of your sub YouTubers, uh, uploaded a video, which is kind of nuts. This is where, uh, eventually the, si uh, the castle will be. This entire mountain, uh, uh, mountainside will become the castle. As you can see, look at this. I have all this room right here. I hope to have a lot of it finished by June 1st of next year. Since, uh, I'm building it primarily mostly by myself. Uh, uh with a few friends coming on occasionally. It's gonna take a long time. Okay, guys. See you later.